Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be focusing on the letter D in pride, which is diversity. Diversity, as defined in our PBIS matrix, is seeking to understand, then to be understood. Having an open mind and open to new or different ideas and accepting and finding value in individuality, especially one that is different than yours. And more with that with Mrs. Vandetti, after news. Lemoyne College students rallied on Tuesday and called for the college to address mental health issues on campus. This comes after the college closed their classes Monday due to the death of Corey Gallinger on Sunday afternoon. The school had a vigil for him at 3 p.m. with about 1,000 people attending. Classes were canceled between 2.30 and 5 p.m. While college officials did not immediately say how he died, it was later confirmed that it was due to suicide. This makes him the third Lemoyne student to die from suicide in the past year and a half. The petition calls for more mental health resources on campus. One of the suggestions is an anonymous texting service where students can contact counselors. Quote, too often people, myself included, don't want to talk about mental health because we don't want to be seen as weak or vulnerable, but that's a sign of strength, said Lemoyne College freshman James Quarrel. So if we can embrace our vulnerability as a campus and talk openly with one another about our feelings and emotions, that's how we're ultimately going to solve this crisis. President Biden is currently facing a massive influx of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border with numbers that could rival the waves seen back in 2019 under the Trump administration. Just last month, over 100,000 people were encountered and or apprehended, which is 24,000 more than February of 2019. The number of unaccompanied children crossing the border this month is looking to surpass May of 2019, the highest month that year in arrest of minors. Biden is currently operating similarly to the way that Trump did during his final year in office, turning down most single parents and families. However, the Biden, the Biden administration is not expelling unaccompanied minor children. Vice President Harris is being sent to the border to assess the current situation and to lead diplomatic efforts in Central America. In Albany, New York lawmakers say it's finally time to legalize marijuana. Legislators have reached a deal with Governor Cuomo's office Wednesday and plan to license dispensaries. Under the agreement, cannabis use will be legal for adults over 21. Cuomo's office estimates that the program will bring in close to $350 million a year once fully implemented due to the 13 for state local taxes. To govern it, it will create a new office of cannabis management that will be run by a newly created cannabis control board, much in the way that alcohol is being governed by the ABC board. The office would issue different licenses for each step in the supply chain, including farming, processing, distribution, dispensaries, and retail consumption sites. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, so, Mrs. Van Denny, uh, one question I have for you today is, what does the word diversity mean to you in your professional life? In my professional life, diversity means that I'm always being open to difference, whether that difference is in the form of a person, place, or an idea. This helps me to always keep learning and trying new things that can reach more students. When I value diversity, that means that I am valuing what is equitable for all students and staff. Good morning, everyone. Today we'll have a high of 73. Tomorrow it will cool down to 66 with some thunderstorms. Over the weekend, Saturday we'll have a high of 49 with some sun and clouds. Sunday and Monday, it looks to have some rain and snow showers with Highs in the 50, high of 55 and a high of 43. Tuesday and Wednesday will have sun and clouds and it will be genuinely cool, maybe short weather. You'll see when you get there. Have a good day. The weight room will be open during spring break from 2 to 4 on Monday, 329, Tuesday, 330, and Thursday, 4, or April 1st. Please contact Coach Galeski if you have any questions. And now, Ms. Van for our second question. Uh, I was wondering, how can students show diversity during the school day? Students can show diversity by being inclusive. This looks like interacting or participating with all students equally, asking questions about things or ideas you want to know more about, 
and using inclusive language when sharing your thoughts in class. Uh, one last question we have for you today is, how does this look differently if a student is participating rem in a remote learning uh, area? Students can show diversity while learning remotely very much the same way as they do in person. They can interact with all their peers through the chat or choose to reach out to someone that they haven't talked to before when participating in class, ask questions using the chat or send a hangout or an email. Uh, you can also type or talk uh, in the chat and be mindful of the language that you're using and just be kind. In upcoming games, the girls varsity volleyball team plays at 6.30 at home against Fulton. The boys varsity volleyball team began their inaugural season last night with a win over Central Square, three games to one. The Spartans were led by senior Devin Moscato Buffalo, who recorded 25 assists in the win, also contributed and were senior Aiden Finnery with 12 kills and senior Nick Brown with 11 kills. The Spartans are back in action Friday night versus CNS at home for senior night. The Syracuse women's basketball team lost to UConn on Tuesday, 83-47, taking them out of the tournament and ending their season with a record of 15-9. In the NFL, T.Y. Hilton has re-signed with the Colts on a one-year $10 million deal, and I'm Tanner with your sports. So, from everyone here at the morning show, have a great rest of your day.